Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here today on my channel. I'm going to be painting an apple picked from my garden in my calendar of firsts. Um, this is not intended to be an instructional video um, by any means. This is just the way that I paint in my own nature journals. So I've started by sketching out um, the apple with waterproof ink. I will link to all the products that I use on my blog so you can visit um, to find out the products. And I am going to start by just giving the apple um, a wash of cadmium yellow, which is a really beautiful, bright, glowing yellow. And into that, I'm going to touch cobalt blue uh, to give the green colours. Now then, um, the light on the apple is actually coming from above so I want to keep this top part nice and bright and have it more shaded at the bottom here. So I just blend that through. So I'm just drying off my brush here and just blending those colours through. I'm going to add a little ultramarine under here where the shadow is falling. And to the side also. So I'm just rinsing off my brush again and blending that through. And I think that will be a little bit light when it dries off. So I'm just adding more cadmium yellow into it. Now this apple has quite a lovely red blush. So I'm just taking some cadmium red and just dropping that into the picture. Now, if you've watched my videos before, previously, you'll know that this is a Moleskina notebook and paper is really terrible um, for watercolour. It's really not the easiest paper to work on. So you do tend to get um, little valleys of paint gathering and what have you. So I'm just going to let that dry off a little. And then I'll go back in and add some more of the cadmium red. 
and then I'm going to take some raw umber and just stuff that in for the branch here. And into that, I'll take some more of the cobalt. I'm just going to run that along what would be the base of the branch. And I think I'm going to just try a little bit of quinacridone gold along the top just to give it a little highlight. Now, hopefully, the paint has now dried off enough that I can go back and drop in cadmium red. Oh, my paper here is really wet and buckling. Usually I have um, a sheet of printer paper underneath and I've forgotten to put it here today. want to I'm just patting that around really just encouraging it to blend where I want it to be and just layering up the color slightly blend in slightly just taking a little bit more cobalt blue just working that shadow in a little bit dry brush again just to blend that out. Just take a little raw umber Ooh, it's not coming at all. Just to make some a few splatters on there. And 
I'm not happy really with the red, so I just want to touch in a little more red. It is starting to build up now as the paper is drying. It's slightly red around this, this edge here, around this side. I'll just rinse off my breath. If I was working with proper watercolour paper, I wouldn't really be having this problem. But I do, I do love my Moleskina journal all set. And I just put some cadmium red splatters. There we go. Just to give the appearance of the texture of the fruit. And Again, a few splatters of the raw umber. There we are. <laughs> Finally. So I think, I think, I think I'm quite happy with that now. It's looking more like one of the apples that I picked from my garden. So thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if I, like I said earlier, if you pop along to my blog, I've listed all the products that I've used um, in this painting. It's www.raisinglittleshoots.com. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.